Well, I tell you what, it's good to be back on the surf. It's been a minute. Just excited to get out surf fishing. I'm actually here with my family today. We're just enjoying some sun. It's a low tide. It's about a one foot and we're sucking out to about a zero minus 0.1 tide. But the water looks pretty blown out and brown. So I'm not sure how we're gonna, how it was gonna go today, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Throwing the Lucky Craft, guys. Perhaps the deadliest jerk bait to use in shallow water situations from the surf. We're gonna be targeting halibut, bass, and whatever else wants to bite. I'm throwing the Phoenix Trifecta Light. 903 medium light we got 30 pound braid on here and a 50 pound tactical anglers clip attached to some uh 12 pound fluorocarbon leader it's gonna be a learning experience like it is every single time bottom line is i'm so excited to be out in the beautiful outdoors enjoying the surf and hopefully we'll catch some fish stay tuned come along i'll explain what i'm doing let's go catch some fish Gonna work this area and see what happens. Oh, there's a bite! Fish on! Oh, yeah! Second cast! Got a fish! Absolutely! All right, looks like uh, hopefully it can turn into an epic day today if we can keep this guy pinned. Uh, medium size, it feels like, not too big. And it's a flat one, it's a, it's a halibut. So I haven't seen a halibut in such a long time. So we got a little halibut, short. We're not even going to put a tape on him. All right, guys, so we got a little halibut to start. And we got to be very, very, oh, he already dehooked himself here. You got to be careful with these teeth. See how it's wide open, but he'll just smack down. He'll chomp down on your fingers. And uh, even these small, oh, did you see that little snap right there? Uh, he will hurt you very badly. So second cast. So hopefully that's a sign of a very, very good session to come because I wasn't expecting the fishing to be good until maybe an hour later. So uh, let's release this guy and uh, get back to it. All right, second cast on the Lucky Craft, the Super Glow MS MKB, and uh, just pitched into a little hole and immediately got a strike. So uh, more than anything, it's just good to feel that bite, but just a slow roll and it's such an effective lure in the shallow water. So uh, let's go try to make some more casts. I'll talk you through some more tips. Let's just enjoy our time today, guys. Let's go. All right, there's, so there's some good structure out here, guys. And uh, the thing with fishing is sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. Um, and the only way you find out is by being out here and casting. So um, there are times when I come out and there's nothing. And there are other times when uh, the fish just make it seem like it's easy for you. Just really depends. So again, as slow as uh, the current and water will allow you to swim this thing, uh, I found to be the more of most effective, as slow as you can. She saw something just break the surface right there out of the corner of my eye. I have no idea what it was, but we're going to swim right past it and see if we can find whatever was there to eat. That'd be so cool. So yeah, it's been about 10 minutes since that first halibut and nothing since so was was hoping kind of maybe there was something triggering there uh, maybe it was just an outlier hopefully it's not a first fish curse all right new spot let's go 15 minutes or so but that one halibut see if we can find some more all right so we're still waiting for the water to go down i'm about to get rocked oh my goodness that one was pretty rough never turn your back and just brace yourself i think when the water starts transitioning from the kind of movement we see now to more of a lake where it just looks calm and there's not that movement that you see from rougher to calmer from calmer to a little bit rougher that's usually i found when the when uh, the bite window is and fish seem to go crazy it's like during those little transition periods in the tide so high tide or low tide wherever the structure is fish either the high or the low and then catch that window On. on a very slow roll might be another halibut wow i really slowed it down on that one 
And this one's shaking. I think it's a halibut. Another smaller size, it feels like. Yeah, it looks like a halibut. Try to get him through the wash here. Yep, a little halibut. There he is, number two on the Super Glow MSMKB. A little pancake. So that's two halibut today. And we're gonna try to get this guy back out in the water. Thank you, buddy. Woo! There he goes. All right, guys, uh, it's been about an hour and I got my second little short halibut and I'll just go and I, I mean, I always say slower the better. And man, I really slowed it down on that one and that's when I got hit. So it just shows you part of it is luck, man. But you know, other side of it, the cadence of your retrieve, there's so many little things that can influence a bite. But yeah, I really had to slow it down a lot. Wow. And that's when I got bit. Way slower than I had been doing it. So I'm gonna try to continue that and see if that results in more fish and hopefully a bigger one. Oh, got one. I didn't even feel him bite. Holy cow. He's surfing on the water. He's still surfing on the water. Look at this guy. Holy cow. Totally unexpected. I didn't even feel the bite, guys. I thought I pulled in some kelp, but it's actually a decent fish. Look at this guy. Kind of slashed on the belly. Wow. I wonder what that's from. All right, guys, got another short, third one of the day. Uh, I missed like 18, 19. I just wanted to see. He was a little bit bigger, so I just wanted to see what he was on the tape. All right, guys, let's get a quick release on this guy. And uh, maybe maybe the bite is turning on. Who knows? And uh, look at the slash on this. This is a, a real slash, man. Wow. I don't know if that's going to heal, but oh, well, there he goes. That was a bite. Dang it, dude. Super slow. You gotta go super slow right now. Holy cow, that was a bite. Yeah, water's super nice right now. Super nice. So right now I'm gonna change the cadence to do a lot more twitching and pausing. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah, I got him. Oh, come on, stay on. There he is. He's staying, he's on, he's on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just really got to slow it down. Um, maybe they're just not as active right now. Um, they're not as aggressive. So number four halibut today, and we've got to be real careful here with the waves coming in. And there he goes. The main tip for today, guys, you got to make adjustments, man. You can't fish the same way every single time. And uh, that's something that was a really, really good reminder for me. Things are always different and changing and dynamic, man. We're going to be out here a lot more, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, tight lines. <laughs>